What's up, y'all? It's your boy G Subu, and I'm back with another video. All right, now I said G Subu, not G S U Wu, not G G Wu. Whatever y'all be saying when I be seeing y'all, y'all know what y'all be saying. I don't know why G Subu is so hard to pronounce, but your boy is here, so at least to learn your boy name. That's the least you can do. All right, so I don't even know where to start. Like it be so big of a gap. You know, when I talk to y'all, I be like trying to fill y'all in in one video and it be hard. So a lot of things has been going on. Life is not, you know, what you think it is for me. Like I get a lot of people when I do see y'all out, y'all are so, oh, I'm inspired. Oh, you inspire me. And I get all these motivational speeches and questions and I am a regular human being, guys. Like, I'm 24 years old. I have a good heart. I go through the most unnecessary BS. Um, I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. I have a big ass multi million dollar business, like, soon to be billion dollars. Let's speak that into existence. And, um,. And I just dropped a new business, Lushro. Lushro is finally here, guys. Make sure y'all go get y'all some Lushro at lushrobutte.com. I'll make sure I put it in the caption for y'all. And um, it's quiet, very quiet, right? Like you can literally hear this earring fall. You know why? Because I'm by myself. Lately, like for the past couple years, I know that stuff can happen. And I feel like that's my outlook on everything. Like, everything is like temporary. Everything is for image. Nothing is genuine. It's like bonds and stuff is completely irrelevant at this point. Um, everybody's replaceable. And I just feel like you just can't keep going through that as a good person which i know that is life but it's like that shit makes you i'm sorry excuse my language it makes you a monster like it literally makes you a monster because it makes you just want to be guarded and you being guarded you don't even realize that you're being like a cold person or a closed off person just to not Feel that same energy that you felt from someone. So um, I'm putting this white stuff on my face. I know y'all are probably wondering. Um, I recently got a chemical pill about a week ago. And this was actually my second chemical pill. The first one I got was like a level one. This one is, was much, much, much stronger. I only got it because it was recommended to me. I actually went to the esthetician for a facial but he suggested that I get a chemical pill so I got another chem chemical pill and um, I don't know if you guys can see but the top of my lip is actually like peeling as well um, I've been kind of putting a product on my lip and I don't know if it's too strong for my lip but luckily I have a lip care brand. So today I used my lip scrub and it did kind of get some of the dead skin off. But um, I still definitely have like dead skin cells on my lip, lip and it actually isn't like pleasing to look at. This sunscreen is very white. Like it's gonna dry out, you guys are gonna see, but it's gonna still be white. And I'm not going out or anything, but they suggest that you still use the sunscreen. Um, Lushro got over a hundred orders on its first day of launching with no um, unorganic un un promo or any external promo. Um, I posted like a video on my page, on my main page, and um, it has about three thousand followers on his Instagram page, which is Lushro Beauty. So if you guys um, are interested in natural beauty products, Lushro will be coming out with new products soon. Um, I haven't worked on anything as of yet because y'all know that product I've been testing for about a year. Oh, definitely over a year, but give or take a year. Um, but those are my first three products. I'm not limiting myself 
to those products. So I can't wait to um, go back into sampling some new products for you guys. I kind of have like a um, few ideas of the route that I want to go, but I just have to make sure I find the best for my customers because truth be told, everybody want to know the secret to business and the secret really is when you have a good product or you have a good technique or you have a very good service, that's what really make your job easy and make it easier. When you're pushing something that's not likable, not favorable, um, not sought after, not in high demand, um, it could be a good thing, but uh, I feel like it's only that 5% that can turn that into that good thing. You get what I'm saying? When it's something not on the market that people want, yeah, there's a chance that you could take off and it sell. However, um, you have to work a lot harder when your product, especially if you're selling a product, is not of high quality or it can't produce any results. Always remember that. Um, a lot of people I know be like, oh, this is not working for me. This is not working for me. Can you look at it? And of course, as an entrepreneur, um, as a mentor, whatever you may want to call it, you never want to give too harsh feedback to someone, especially if they're not even close to you. We're talking about complete strangers here. You never want to be the one to give someone bad advice or crush their dreams. So that goes to show that something as well. Like sometimes you need to change your position. I went to a business uh, panel the other day. It was hosted by my friend Jada Chiefs. And um, basically someone on the panel said, um, a lot of times people, people um, they're so sought after a position, a specific position, that they're really missing their blessings on other opportunities. For instance, you want to be the best running back, but you're not the fastest player. So maybe you could be the best wide receiver or cornerback, you know? Maybe instead of being on offense, maybe you need to be on defense. So always be open, especially until you find your niche. And even when you do find your niche, continue exploring, continue investing in yourself to see what it is out there that can really make you pop. You may be doing something right now that of course you don't see yourself not ever not doing this, but you could do something tomorrow, pick up a hobby tomorrow, and it can make you millions of dollars. Or it could just be the best hobby ever that you enjoy doing on your free time. So there's a lot of things in this life to explore. And that's honestly one of my new goals that I have. Um, I feel like I have a lot of things materialistically. There's really nothing that I want. However, um... I just want to get back in tune with myself and my life and me putting myself first, worrying about myself selfishly, which I feel like I deserve to do. Um, I went shopping yesterday. I want to show you guys some of the things that I got. I think you guys might actually like it. So for my new YouTube channel, I want to do... Well, for my YouTube return, <laughs> I want to do a lot of unboxing videos, uh, sample videos, talking to you guys about work and my new businesses. So, I guess we can start today. Um, I got these shoes in, you guys. These are samples, but this is my new business, one of the new business ventures that I'm planning to start. Um... So I redesigned the Air Force One, and um, this is made of patent leather. It's actually embossed with my logo that you can see here, but it also has um, a 3D embossed patent leather embroidered logo. This was one of the one of the two styles that I got. And um, I actually put in eight styles just to test the quality. This was the other version. Um, it's mauve and white. It has more of a design to it. It's also embossed, but you can't see it as much. I feel like I got pretty good feedback on it. Um, I personally think that the quality is amazing. Um, with these being the first two samples and it takes so long. Like it took so long for me to get these. And um, I personally think the feedback was phenomenal. So 
I don't know if you guys can tell me which one you like better. Um, I think Instagram like this one better, which I can kind of contest because of the color. But I really, really love this one as well. I think it'll be very easy to wear. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the new G-Force. Which I have a pair already that's been delivered for production that I've been working on. And uh, you guys will be getting those very soon. Alright, so. I went to. I went to Saks. Um, that's where most of all of these purchases are from. Atlanta doesn't really have like a lot of malls, um, so it's actually kind of hard shopping here compared to Miami. So y'all know it gets cold in Atlanta. I've always lived in Florida, so I've never, it's hot year round in Florida. If it's cold, it's literally like maybe 55 degrees um, for a day or two. Like it's really never cold in Florida. So I got this hoodie. I got a Dior hoodie, it's just a plain hoodie and honestly, let me tell y'all because I am a fashion designer and I feel like people like my fashions. So with that being said, like this is my first purchase like this, like I never ever ever buy hoodies and I also never ever ever buy plain hoodies, like I'm not a plain guy, I'm a colorful guy and I don't buy stuff like this usually. Like, I feel like it's the same as something from Target. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the quality is amazing, and the reason that I did buy it is because when I tried it on, it actually looked really good on me. I think I took a picture, so I might put it in here. But I tried to make myself not like it. <laughs> but I ended up getting it because I got some shoes to kind of go with it. So that was from Christian Dior. And I can just tell y'all some of the prices of it, but I'm sure some people may want to know. So that sweatshirt was $1,150. I got these jeans. Okay, so these jeans, it has like this effect in the front. Like when it's on your waist, it, it's over here. It's not here. If you know, you know, like if you're a fashion boy, you know, not saying that these are like the coolest pants. I'm just trying to, if you know about trains and stuff like that. So I got these pants and they actually ran kind of big. What brand was this? I don't think I usually shop here. Oh, this brand is called R13. So let me tell y'all, it was a flannel. It was a flannel on a mannequin, which I think flannels are really about to come back very, very hard in style. So it was a flannel on a mannequin. I couldn't fit it, it was a size large. Um, it was so cool, I wanted it. I didn't even know what brand it was. And it was the same brand as, as these pants. So R13, I gotta check out their website when I'm done with this video. But I got these pants and they were $565 plus tax. Remember I was just telling y'all about flannels. I got this flannel, which is so dope. Well, not really, but it's a good throw on. I really like what made me buy it was actually the ridges on it, which is very simple, but I don't know. It made me buy it, so. I got this in a medium. Usually I, usually, okay, so really I can fit men's extra small, men's small, or I'll buy men's medium, like if I'm going for like a looser look, oversized look, but this shirt is a bad. I gotta spice it up for y'all to show you how to give y'all give y'all the look, but don't think I'm coming to play when I put this boy on. Have on some blue and some red with like a little red beanie. Yeah, okay. All right, so I got this shirt. This shirt, I don't know what brand this is because, oh, this is also R13. Okay, so I think I really like this R13 brand. And I can't wait to go on their website. All right, so this shirt was $315. No, it was not. This tag says $395. And I actually wanna start dressing more differently, like instead of wearing only 
Well, this is considered designer too, but only known brands, so like Amiri, Louis Vuitton. I want to start wearing other stuff, but it's really hard finding those items, I feel like. Okay, so I got this white, oversized, deep V uh, Rick Owens shirt, and I'm going to wear it probably with like some boots and some leather pants. Um, this shirt was $315. From Rick Owens. I really love this mainly because I love pink. I love wearing pink. I love pink on me. Like pink is just very dope. So this is a tracksuit. It's from Casablanca. I really, really, really love this brand lately. I love their sweatsuits. They are kind of on the more expensive side, but they have amazing quality. Like I love their quality. I love how it fits on me. So these are the track pants and they had a shirt to go with it but i end up getting a jacket because i felt like it was more clean and this would be nice with some g-forces <laughs> y'all so we doing g-forces not g-fazos all right so if i could get herb <laughs> if i could get a herb g herbo and a pair of my um my new g-forces because he's known for like the fazos that would be hard and I got this white Dior turtleneck. Um, I mainly got this because it was a size extra small and I know it's gonna fit tight. So I just got it. Um, I wish they would've had the orange one. The orange one is very trendy. But this is like an off-white too. So this is grown man status. This shirt was $1,350. And believe it or not guys, this is all of the clothes I got. This was just what I got yesterday. So I got one jacket, one pair of jeans, two shirts, no, three shirts, and one set. I got a couple more things, but that's all of the clothing. I also got two pair of shoes. Dior, oh. <laughs> Dior, Dior. All right, so I got these shoes. Black boy unboxing. All right, so I got these shoes in a size 42. So I actually like these shoes so much because it's like an athletic shoe. It has the CD logo. Me personally, I love when any brand has like an iconic logo that they use on both their clothing and shoes. So that way it's very easy to dress. All right, so I got this gray. I just felt like I could not pass up on this gray. Like this is iconic. Like this gray is very clean. So you can wear these with like some skinnies, graphic tees, all plain outfit with a nice hoodie. Like this is bomb. So I got this and I liked it so much that I had to get another color as well. Show y'all the other color I got. Same box. Same shoe, but I got this green color. And this color is actually very trendy. Um, not with the brand or anything like that, just a lot of brands has been using this color. Like Rick Owens has been featuring this green. Um, Bottega has something that's green also, and now Dior has also used this green, so I went ahead and copped this shoe. Uh, the colors that they had available, they had a black and white version, they have gray, which I got, they had green, which I got, and then they also had like a nude, like, tape kind of color. I think it's called like tape. So I can't wait to wear these bad boys. Let me show you how they look together. I want to do anybody else buy like two pairs of the same shoe like that's not like Nike and Jordan or that's like a regular thing right these are the shoes dope right super dope so now I gotta find some more outfits to wear with this but I think I got a jacket let me see if it matches I'm gonna go get the jacket right quick so this is my jumpsuit from Rick Owens that was kind of viral <laughs> I don't know if you guys know about the situation, but I had went to Rick Owens and I bought like 
a lot of stuff. I spent a lot of money in Rick Owens. And um, pretty much, long story short, my jumpsuit was not placed in my bag. And I went back up there to try to resolve the issue or get another jumpsuit. And it was very, very, very unpleasing. Like I wasn't really helped at all. I ended up getting into it with the managers because the manager was actually very, very sassy. And he told me like, pretty much like, you don't care, I don't care. Like you can get out my store. And I really wanted to smack the attitude off of him, but I was not going to jail in New York. So, these are things I never even touched. That New York trip was like two months ago, and this is just sitting here. This jumpsuit is like almost like four thousand dollars. I also got this bomber coat from Rick Owens. It's kind of crop. This was like a few thousand dollars. But this is the jacket that I was talking about, and look how it matches perfectly. Like, look at the quality on this. So look at the jacket and then look at the shoes. Look at that, bro. Tell me that's not hard. Super hard, man. And this is a Bottega jacket, see? So you see how the brands, they get with the same trends, the same colors, and that's how you make it in fashion. Fashion is all about trends. There's a lot of criticism on Instagram where people be like, oh, you copy this, you copy this, and it's like the top brands are all following trends, love. The top brands are all following each other. They're using the same colors. Like Bottega made the green cool, right? They made gang green cool, money green. Everybody used money green. Balenciaga, I just bought some Balenciaga boots that are green. Like, I'm telling y'all. That's how fashion works. It's to make the best version of the trends. So, when you do see something that's inspired, before you get mad and you say a hateful comment, <clears throat> just know that I'm doing my job. And one of us is not. And it ain't me. I love clothes and shoes and jewelry. I love clothes, shoes, and jewelry. Like, I just wish I had an allowance. Like, I can just go shopping every, I, I literally go shopping every week, but like, I wish that I didn't have to spend my own money. Let's manifest, let's manifest in the next chapter of our lives, us getting with successful partners and stuff like that, that actually, can. So let me not even go down that road because I know how you girls like to tussle and mix up people's words and stuff. But if you want to take me shopping, you can take me shopping, but don't let it be a one time thing. And my kind of shopping is kind of expensive. All right, so these were the two pair of shoes I got. So I didn't really see anything in the store, and I was really above what I wanted to spend that day on clothes because I only went to the mall because I was bored. So I got these glasses called Kazoku from Japan. I actually put these on my Instagram story if y'all follow me on Instagram. Um, it has like this checkerboard print on it and I think that these are pretty cool. I think that these look like Celine. So I have like a red sweater that I might wear with these glasses to pop and then maybe like a red hat. That's what I'm thinking about this outfit. So I got these glasses. I also got these glasses are called Nina Moore. And these glasses are all made out of wood. And I got these because the sales associate um, recommended them. And I thought that they were pretty cool. Like, look at this lens. I love a gradient lens. And this lens is really unbeatable. This red color pop. To me, I felt like it looked like fashion. Fit my face. I got a, like, small head. Big forehead, small head. That's these. And last but not least, of course, I had to get some a brand that I actually know. So I got these Dior glasses. I had to get these because they were pink 
And y'all seen I got the jacket, a Dior jacket, my shirt, and two pair of shoes. So I said, why not get these? I didn't really like the shape or anything. I just felt like the color. And when I do have on an outfit, it's going to pop. But I think these are pretty cool. Like this pink is dope. My shopping spree that I did yesterday. So all in all, I spent about maybe $1,500 on these glasses. And um, I spent $8,000, just about $8,000. I don't know if y'all want the exact number, but I spent $8,000 on the clothes. So $9,500. That's what I spent on this drip. I'm so happy I got them green shoes to go with that jacket though. Y'all don't understand. Yeah, I think that was a good little update for y'all. So um, my next vlog, hopefully I'll be getting my house clean. And we can start getting prepared for like fall drops, Black like Friday. And um, I'll give y'all an update on my life and what's really going on into details because I only scratched the surface and I didn't want to really overbear y'all today. So I did this whole vlog in my sunscreen. That's pretty cool, right? I hope so. So if y'all didn't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. I really want to start talking to y'all more. Um, I just really want to be able to help whoever I can help, whoever's willing to be helped or just needs some love, some energy. Just come to me and hopefully we can connect and vibe on a level out of this world. So if you are going through anything, just keep your head up. Tough times don't last. Good people do. Tough people do. And um, just remember that the sun always comes out. Remember to count your blessings before you count your problems. Remember to pray before you lay and pray when you awake. Okay. And remember to give God thanks throughout the day. Like it's not a one, two time meetup. Like talk to him all the time. He's going to see you through it. If you are working on something, continue working on it. Get feedback from people. Get feedback. I'm working on that too. Like I am over this whole social media phase where everybody just want to cast their opinions and stuff like that on things that don't even matter but if you can if you have people around you people that actually care for you or your own little circle of people it could be three people two people whoever get feedback from somebody at least so you're not making blind moves um, a lot of times there's something that we often can't see that other people can so use that to your advantage all right. And um, with that being said, I want to move again, I think. Like, I'm thinking I want to move to another state. I don't know if I'm going to get another house in Florida or if I want to move to another state. Like, thinking maybe Texas because they have nice homes or L.A. But I've never even been to L.A. yet, so I don't even know if I want to move there. But... I don't know. These are new goals for me. I had to write down some new goals. I got unmotivated because I smashed all my goals, which is a good thing and a bad thing. But always keep going. Never stop. Never get comfortable. On that note, I'm out. Check back. Your boy, Juice Woo. Anyways, I'm, I'm out of here, y'all. Watch my next video when my notification pop up. Love y'all.